The new iPhone 15 Pro can now film Apple Log Video in ProRes 422, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to easily film in it, covering all of the settings that you need to know, as well as some really powerful tips that are going to guarantee that your footage looks its absolute best when filming in this profile. Also, because I'm all about saving you time, I've put together a set of video presets called Who Is Matt Lutz? You can check them out down in the video description. And I've tested these with Apple log footage filmed by the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, and they look fantastic. They also work with pretty much any other camera that uses a log profile. So if you're wanting to get consistent, beautiful, true to life colors in your films, no matter whether you film them with an iPhone or any other camera, you gotta check out these presets down in the video description. Now the first thing that you need to know is that this tutorial is focused solely on using the native iPhone camera app. In my last video about iPhone log, I had a lot of comments asking about how to use the new Blackmagic camera app because that app lets you film and log while also giving you a ton of extra camera controls. Plus it's free, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna be sticking with the stock iPhone camera app because maybe you don't want that extreme level of options and control that you get from the Blackmagic camera app. Regardless, let me know if you want a Blackmagic camera app tutorial and I can work on that. Anyways, getting right into it then. To film in this new log picture profile on your iPhone 15 Pro, you need to open your settings app on your phone and go to camera, then go to formats and scroll down and enable Apple ProRes under video capture. Then for ProRes encoding, change this to log. To make things easier for yourself, you'll also want to go to the record video setting at the top, then enable lock white balance at the bottom. This will keep your phone from adjusting the white balance mid recording and will make color grading your videos much easier. Go back out to your camera app now and in the top left you will see there is a new option for ProRes Log and by default it will have a line through it, but if you tap on it you will enable ProRes Log and your camera preview is immediately going to look flat and washed out. With this change, congratulations, your phone is now filming in Apple's Log Picture Profile and you could just press record right now and start rolling. But if you want your log footage filmed with your phone to look its best, keep watching. Let's talk exposure. The first thing you need to know is that Apple Log is a little different than other log picture profiles you may have used in the past. Because in the past, I have never recommended underexposing a log picture profile. And if you filmed in something like Sony's S-Log3 picture profile, for example, I've recommended filming that almost two stops overexposed. But like I said, Apple Log is different, and in my experience, it's actually going to be best for you to underexpose it by about one stop. Why, you ask? Well, it all comes down to noise. Even though the video quality of the iPhone 15 with ProRes 422 is significantly better than anything we've had in any phone before, even the best codec on the planet cannot compensate for this phone still having a camera sensor that is quite small, which means there's a greater chance of you getting noise when it tries to increase the ISO at all. And then, whenever you consider that Apple's native camera app usually prefers to expose images really brightly by default, it starts to make sense why I recommend underexposing because you want to keep your ISO as low as possible when filming. With older iPhones, I've lost count of the amount of times that I've wanted to film a video of something and I had to lower the exposure level before I pressed record because the iPhone was just too bright. And this is a trend that we're now seeing the iPhone 15 continue with it making things a bit too bright and elevating the shadows a bit too much by default in my opinion. To dial in your exposure correctly, I'm gonna show you my very simple two-step system that you can use to make sure that your footage is exposed properly and looks great every single time that you're filming with your phone in log. Here's how it works. First, you're going to want to tap and hold on your subject that you're filming on the screen. So if you're filming a person, tap and hold on the person's face, a tree, tap and hold on the tree, you get what I'm saying. By tapping on your subject, you are telling the iPhone that you want to not only focus on this subject, you also want it to adjust the exposure so your subject is properly exposed. And then by holding down after you tap, you're telling the iPhone that you want to lock the focus and exposure on this subject. Now, the reason that you want to lock your exposure is that it is going to make color 
color correcting and color grading your film dramatically easier because all of your footage is gonna be locked to the same exposure level. If you do not lock your exposure level as you move your camera around and film other things, if the things that you're filming get darker or brighter, your camera is going to adjust its exposure, which is gonna make color grading a huge pain because you're gonna be needing to constantly change your contrast and brightness levels to compensate in post and this just sucks. I've done it before, trust me, it sucks. Once you have your exposure and focus locked, remember that your iPhone is gonna be getting really close to overexposing the image because that's what it likes to do by default. Because of that, you're now going to want to underexpose it slightly, which can help save the highlights, reduce the noise, and overall, in my experience, it makes the footage a bit easier to grade. If you've filmed with an iPhone before, you're probably thinking, this is easy, Matt. I just stick my finger on the screen and drag up or down to raise or lower the exposure, right? Well, no not in this case. We're gonna be a bit more scientific about things because remember, I recommend that you ideally want to expose about one stop under. So instead of holding your finger on the screen and dragging up or down and guessing where approximately one stop would be, that's really hard to guess, instead, you're going to tap on this arrow at the top of your phone if you're holding it vertically, and then tap the circle that has a plus and minus icon on it. Whenever you tap on this plus and minus icon, this is gonna give you very fine-tuned exposure control. Then you can tap and drag your finger to lower the exposure until it says negative 1.0, and your phone's exposure is now locked at negative one, which should look great. Now, all you have to do is press record, and that is how you easily film in Apple ProRes Log with your iPhone using the native camera app. Don't forget that my color presets that work great with Apple Log are linked down below. I would love for you to check them out. And as I said earlier, let me know if you want me to go in depth on Blackmagic's camera app and please subscribe if you want to see that video. Also, because I want to help you out even more with your filmmaking, I've put together a free guide called edit videos like a pro. And this guide is gonna show you some of my biggest editing tips that took me years to learn as a filmmaker. You can get this guide for free at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.